Hello there, welcome to Fulcrum of the Force. I'm Jim, and this is my channel dedicated to everything Star Wars. It's lightsaber review time from Padawan Outpost. This one is very much a companion piece to my last video, which was Balin Skull's lightsaber. This time we have the what was it? Dark side adjacent Padawan apprentice Shin Hattie. And here it is. Um, those of you that saw my Lego build, Lego Shin Hattie lightsaber build, um, might have had a sneak peek at this when I was doing that. Um, because the Lego version of this is so good. And it's so close to being bang on. It's ridiculous considering it's Lego. But let's talk about this lightsaber from Padawan Outpost. Um, this is well nice. Um, this caught my eye in the Ahsoka show more than Balin's did, um, because I'm a sucker for a Suba. Very Kane and Jarrus. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I love that. Um, but let's get this close so you can properly see it. Um, really nice, nice grip there. The, the emitter is very cool, kind of like with the spikes at the top. Um, I've got a lightsaber called the Iron Maiden, which has very similar spikes, although it has four, not three. Um, super nice saber. I really like the bottom, the um, the pommel part. Looks really nice. Nice detail in there. Um, yeah, very cool. Very very cool lightsaber. I like the white on here. I think it's different. Like you don't get that very often. Normally that would be a wrap or leather or something, but it's actually just like the metal. And if you look at it in the show, that's exactly what it is. It's like painted white metal, which is crazy. A really, really nice. Um, I like the detail around here. The button is exactly where the button should be um, on the lightsaber itself. Again, this is another one that is becoming... They're becoming so super easy to access, he says. <laughs> there's, the, uh, there's the core right there. Super easy. Battery. USB-C port, SD card, and little kill switch in there. Just to make everything nice and easy for the user, just so that you can sit and play easily. Power on. As simple as that, like, you know, and you, with the kill switch in there, it saves the battery and everything. I really, really like that. I think as time's going on, these are getting more and more realistic looking. And I really like that about them. Um, they're becoming thin, a lot thin. Like, you look at that and how that easily fits in my hand compared to, and I don't want to throw shade on Galaxy's Edge lightsabers. Everything else about Galaxy's Edge is fantastic. Their lightsabers suck. They are so big. They are chunky boys. Um, I've, I've held a few and I'm just like, okay, how? They're big. These are getting smaller by the time. And with that, we are getting smaller and smaller blade. So if you saw my uh, Bale and Skull review, you should check that out. Um, you'll see that that had a seven, I'm not going to be able to say it again, seven eighths, seven eighths inch blade in it rather than the standard one inch. And so does this. This also has a seven eighths blade. And I said that in that video. I'm going to say it again in this one. I really like that. I prefer the 7 8 blade. I think it makes the saber feel less top heavy. I think it makes it less cumbersome. And I think when the blade is on um, with the light that comes out of it, because those LEDs are packed a little bit tighter, the, the shine from it almost takes your eyes away from the fact that there's a plastic blade in there and it just looks like light. So I'm I'm a big fan of the thinner blade. Um, also, I like Rebels. I like a thin blade. Now, this is the point of the video. Why I would normally go, let's put a blade in and see what it looks like. This particular saber is baselit. Um, you know, I have no issue with baselit at all. I think they're really, really good, um, especially if you want to spin. Uh, it saves the blade. Uh, if you want a jewel, it saves damaging an expensive blade. I think baselits are great and have their place. And with the amount of stuff you can do with baselets now, I mean, this 
being a baselet, a V3 baselet, you can actually add sound fonts to the baselets now, which I think is a big deal. They have smooth swing. Literally the only difference now between these baselets and Xenos are the fact that the blade has like all the styles and the blah, 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 blah. Whereas on here, you turn it on, it lights up the blade. Everything else about it is the same. Now, I would normally, like I said, I would normally put a blade in and we'd, we'd spin it and we'd have some fun with it and I'd hit stuff. Oh, the fun we have. I don't actually own a 7 eighths baselet blade. I found out today when I came to do this review and went, oh no. Um, obviously, the sabers do come with blades when you buy them, but obviously I... Jazz and Dave over at Paddle and Outpost are amazing and let me review their stuff. And I, A, didn't know this was a 7 eighths uh, blade. And B, thought I had every single blade style in my house because I've got everything. But it turns out I don't have a 7 eighths baselet blade. Who knew? Who knew? Um, I can turn it on. Uh, Volume low. So you can see it shiny, shiny, lighty, lighty, and the sound. Soundedness is actually really nice. I think because you've got this really nice sort of venting coming through here, it kind of takes the, the sometimes the, the, the edge off. Like sometimes there can be a bit of a tinny edge. But that sounds quite nice. Quite like that. Um, still got all your gesture controls. And everything else, just basically, it's so weird to do this without blading. Um, yeah, I, I, really, I really like the way that one sounds. Um, we won't go through a load of stuff because it, it looks insane without a blade. Um, but there it is, the Shin Hathi lightsaber from Pokemon Outpost. I do believe they do a weathered version of this, like they do with the Balin as well. Um, but for me, the clean one on this one is the nicer version, in my opinion. We all have different opinions. A lot of people love weathered stuff, and I see why. But I like things shiny. I like them to look all nice and brand new. Saying that, I always thought that about my Kenobi Saber, and now I'm going to get it weathered. So, <sighs> I, can't, I can never make up my mind. Got a problem. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell so you never miss a video. Uh, which of the sabers do you prefer from the Ahsoka show? Is it Balin's or is it Shin's? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, don't forget, we are one with the Force and the Force is with us.